Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, actually, this I'm is going to be great. Shouting, as you can see from my um, recording. So I got another device here to review. It's just keep coming and coming, isn't it? So this one is called the Easy Rec, which is a smart mini recorder. You could either do a switch control or use an app as well. So by the looks of the main image of the cover, it looks like a really tiny, thin device. 450 milliamp per hour so that means that it'll go for hours and hours so that's very clever indeed based on the sticker tag it's a black 64 gigabyte unit so um i think that's pretty much it other than that we need to find out by doing the unboxing and see how it works so enough said let's get on to it so let's tear this out nice asmr Easy Rec. That's a nice presentation. <laughs> Look at that. So immediately we got the actual device. So this is the logo. Um, we got two hollow sort of slots here, which we'll find out why it's there. Uh, USB-C to charge. This is the actual microphone one on each end so onto the switch itself if you were to click onto the left you can see the red led light bulb coming up which i presume is recording now but if i were to do it on the right you can see the uh, wireless symbol on it remaining of the box we got two uh, slim boxes here instruction manual on various kinds of languages good quality but also short so this looks like a clip uh, joined by a 3m glue spare sponges so just want to clarify that if you actually click it left on a red that's a manual control mode if you go to the right that's not wireless connection it's actually app uh, control mode okay so if we were to scan the qr code here and click onto the link we'll be leading into the easy rec uh, official page. Okay, so let's open up the app. So here it is, popping in. So if you were to click on the top left corner, we got here, uh, device has been controlled, battery half-life left. So the scene selection, that's quite interesting. If you click on that, so we got memo, meeting, classroom, interview, and music you can record music ah that's very sneaky it's quite cool isn't it and you could also record the mode into either the noise cancellation if you click on that you can also do original sound recording as well yeah and voice activated recording you can choose that option privacy setting as well uh, so if you actually lose your disc i think that's where you want to uh, keep it within your hands and so on so Probably that's going to be one of the most important button. Uh, records signal light. You can also turn that off as well. So it's going to be more discreet. That's really cool. You know what? I'm starting to get feel that this might be one of the best spying device. Schedule recording as well. So let's say if you hit this device somewhere and you, you want to start recording when uh, certain people are going to be in certain time, you can do that as well. Storage, we've got 57.61 gigabyte bit rates of 256 kilobytes per second wave format and that's the serial number so on the profile page we got my device so if i click on it that's where we just been to um, manage cloud files so there is no cloud files that are uploaded but i guess you can manage that manage recorded file so those are some of the files that i actually accidentally record you can delete that as well you can also manage the app local files uh, the recording location all right, that's quite interesting. So that will basically be able to tell you where it's actually been recorded by using the smartphone link up as well, about us and version number as well. So let's look into a scenario where I wanna secretly record someone's voice, trying to get some evidence out of it. Let's say you're a secret cop or something like that, or special agent. All I need to do is press it into the red. And as you can see, I'm actually wearing jeans. So I'm actually gonna literally put it inside my pocket um and we are now start recording so we i could say whatever i want so uh let's look at some of the details on the um user guide 
I can't see any battery life, how long it's expected to last. Um, actually, I'm not really shouting as you can see from my um, recording. Um, it doesn't really say how long this battery, the full battery will last, but I presume it's gonna be for hours and hours, which I'll find out anyway. Okay, so I need to put it back to the um, connecting to the app control mode. And so let's actually go to the app itself. Uh, so I'm hoping that, oh, here it is. So it has just been synchronized instantly. Uh, so let's click on that and play the actual sound, shall we? And we are now start recording. So we, I can say whatever I want. So uh, let's look at... I can't believe that. It's so clear. On the, um, wow, it doesn't actually feel like it's inside my pocket, is it? I can't see it? any battery life, how long it's <laughs> oh, That's amazing. Um, this is going to be really great. As you can see from my um, recording. Um, wow. I'm really, really, really impressed for the way how you can use this device. Battery. It's so tiny and thin. So because I'm really impressed with the recording quality despite putting it inside my jean pocket, I'm also going to do a sound comparison with my uh, camera microphone wireless, which is from a company called Mano. Uh, and also going to check this one out as well. So I'm going to turn on the recording red and then use the magnetic joint. By the way, this magnetic joint is really cool. You just clip on it and it works instantly. And I'm also going to read out an article while I'm doing a comparison directly. Okay, so this is about Inter Milan. Federico Di Marco, ah, he's one of my favorite players at the moment, scores an incredible goal from the halfway line against uh, Frosinone, I think that's what it's pronounced, that is already being hailed as strike of the season. Inter Milan defender Federico Di Marco scored an incredible goal on Sunday. The Italian struck from just inside uh, Frosionen, uh, half at San Siro Stadium. Why we should get excited about Cole Palmer. Who's Cole Palmer anyway? So I hope that made a really good comparison. So I'm literally looking at the actual size. It's the half of a membership card or credit card etc so i guess that was their aim but there's a bit of a thickness on it because we need those technology to go inside it so yeah this is really cool a recording device um, it could get into the hands of good person or bad person but if it gets into the bad person who wants to spy on you listen to your conversation for hours and hours trying to use it against you uh, that is also possible but if you're a good cop uh, trying to record, find the criminal, uh, that will also be uh, dandy as well. So this is originally being intended for recording meetings or short memos and etc. But again, technology has come a long way through, hasn't it? For owning such a small device, you can secretly uh, spy on someone or record your lecture and so on. I'm not quite sure what these two sunk in by the USB-C charging slot is. Maybe it's trying to help, trying to get the front cover off. That's what it's for. The magnetic clip and uh, joints and so on is really cool. You don't necessarily need to align with it. It will still hold it, but if you want a firm grip, you just need to make sure the actual back sticker gets stuck in as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, and I'll try to use it in good use. But if someone really annoys me, you know what's gonna happen. Anyway, I hope this video explained to you how cool this device is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best, bye-bye.